Calling all job seekers, Walmart is looking for some new employees in the district. The company opened two new hiring centers today. One will be for the retailer's upcoming H Street store. The other is going to be for Walmart's Georgia Avenue location. And all this comes after Mayor Vincent Gray's decision to veto D.C.'s living wage bill. Our John Gonzalez has the latest. Retail giant Walmart isn't wasting any time. Just days after the city council failed to override the mayor's veto of the controversial living wage bill, the company has opened two hiring centers today. Well, right now, I'm on the point. I just lost my job Friday. Something's coming, trying to give me another job. And D.C. residents looking for extra work or a new job altogether wasted no time getting in line this morning. Jobs now officially being filled for two stores under construction at 8th Street and Northeast and Georgia Avenue in Northwest. And they called me back for today and they offered me a job for a customer service manager. They sign what they're available or what they're looking or interested in on a kiosk or they sign up online. Some are being interviewed here today. The plan, which was a bit cloudy just a few weeks ago, is to open six stores in the district. The company threatened to pull the plug on three stores if that living wage bill became law. The legislation singled out large stores by raising their minimum wage to $12.50 per hour. Work candidates now know the wage will be lower, but they still need the work. It will probably help a lot with bills and things like that, especially if you live on your own. Yeah. It's very important. I'm unemployed right now, so um, it's very important that I find or seek employment. The structure is slowly starting to take shape here on 8th Street. This will be a 75,000 square foot store. That's much smaller than the usual Walmarts we are accustomed to, but it will still employ about 350 people. We're hiring for cashiers, stockers, unloaders, uh, management material. In Northeast Washington, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.